What's good everybody? Welcome back to Hope Views and today we're going to be talking about Demon Slayer Season 2. We finally got like the new arc that began, the entertainment district that that love like red light district stuff is finally starting. So I want to do a little episode video, talk about some of the things that I said in previous videos and get some people's opinions on where the show is going to go moving forward. If you like this type of content, maybe you should consider subscribing to my channel, uh, hitting the alerts, coming back around, and leaving some feedback on these type videos when I ask really just a lot of questions about where you think the series is going to go because that's what the channel is kind of all about in regards to TV shows. What do you think is happening? What do you think is going on? So let's go ahead and get into my theories and where I think the show is going to go. First thing I want to touch on is a theory that I had right uh, after watching the Mugen Train movie. So that thing came out in April. Had to wait a few weeks to catch that movie, but once I got a chance to watch it, I had a theory about all the different branches of the Hashira, how they had the love, the fire, the water, and all the different like branches, and they were shown in that movie. I wanted to share with you my thoughts that I said then, and then update it based on this one episode. That theory is this. We saw in the movie how uh, Rengoku sh like spoke to Tanjiro and he showed that imagery of how different skills branch from the three or four main powers, right? You know, it was like love, fire, water, those, those things, right? And he talked about the black sword not knowing what to master. And it's like, okay, Tanjiro already knows the, the 10 water-based skills, right? He also has a bit of the flame breathing stuff passed down through his father. It's like, I would imagine, or I would hope that this is the theory. Tanjiro would master the water, then move into learning the fire, become the fire Hashira, and then continue to learn and master the four main arts to where he can, well, four or five main arts to where he can use all of them at his disposal and he'll be basically the baddest man in the land. It would be very nice to see all that happen. Although I know there was a synopsis given for season two that reads like this. So my thoughts were wrong. It doesn't appear like Tanjiro is gonna be learning each different breathing technique, but it does appear that he knows or is at least kind of connected to the original breathing technique, that sun breathing, which is cool. Uh, it looks very similar to the flame breathing from you know what we saw from Rengoku, uh, but I imagine him knowing the OG style of fighting will be like a huge power up for his character and I hope to see him use it several times in this series. I know that it's something that he'll be training to like adjust his body to, to, to work with moving forward. But do you think they're gonna use it multiple times this season? Do you think it's gonna help him defeat some of these higher ranking demons? Cause it does appear that he got on the bad side of one guy uh, from the end of the movie. Hopefully that flame breathing technique can push him over the edge. Now I'm saying all that as a person who has never read the manga. I, I need to be clear about that. I don't have the time in my schedule to go out and seek a method to find and read these mangas. So I don't know where the story is going to go. I do know a few people who have given me, you know, way down the road spoilers to kind of talk about where things are going to go with Tanjiro. But as far as the immediate, like future and, and then this being an anime adaptation of that manga, I'm wondering where are things going to go with that sun breathing technique. Besides that, I think this episode was a solid introduction to a new arc. You know, you're wrapping up some of the stuff that came with the movie arc, the Mugen Train. Uh, cool stuff there. And I really liked the fact that we didn't just see the horrible side of Rengoku's dad. Like we didn't just see the drunk really hating just bad just bad version of Rengoku's dad I'm glad we got to see him sobbing at the end and it kind of shows his remorsefulness and just shows like this is his grieving process the angry the angry grieving so cool stuff to see there uh glad to see things kind of like shift at the very end of the episode into the new adventure that's gonna start and I'm really hoping to see uh a whole lot develop with those those guys Inosuke, Zenitsu and uh Tanjiro so again, leave your thoughts if you have any related to the show. Uh, where do you think they're gonna go with that sun breathing thing? That is my main thought for this here video. I hope you did enjoy the episode. I'll be coming back each week, probably just to you know just drop little lines and questions about where y'all think things are going. 
So please make sure to leave a comment. Enjoy yourself. Guard your heart. Come on back. Check out more videos.